Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create a perfectly looking ombre nails. So I'm going to show you two different techniques and uh, I just love creating ombre nails. So if you're following me on Instagram, you know how many ombre nails I have created so far. So um, basically, I just love playing with colors. So that's the reason. So I thought why not let's share some tips and tricks with you guys. And before we start, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified about all my new videos so let's get started so let's begin with a thin layer of base coat i'm using l corazon's iron heart base coat this is one of my favorite base coat and also if you guys want to see how i take care of my nails then you guys can check it out i have a full detailed video upon my channel i'll put the link in the description box and on the screen and next step uh, to get a perfect ombre is to apply a thin white base so white base really helps the colors to pop out and it looks really stunning so i'm gonna apply a thin layer of white base and then i'm going to let it dry almost 80 percent next up is to apply liquid latex around your cuticle area so this way we can reduce our cleanup at the end of the nail art so uh, as you know gradient nail and water marble are two messy nail art techniques that we use so today i'm applying this liquid latex i got from amazon i'll put the links in the description box and uh, um, the first technique is to create a perfect gradient nail is to use this sponge makeup sponge which you can find in any uh, local store or you can buy it from aliexpress or amazon anywhere you will get it very easily if not you can use this kind of sponge that we use in the kitchen you can cut small pieces and you can use it so today i'm going to use this pastel collection from sugar which is an indian brand i'll put again the links in the description box these are so beautiful and i'm using four colors to create the ombre so before i start with the ombre i uh, keep all my nail polish bottles open and then i'll start with one by one so first i'm applying this pastel green color onto the sponge and followed by the pink and then the yellow and then i'm going with the lavender if you notice i'm slightly overlapping the colors so now the uh, green is slightly overlapped with pink and the yellow is slightly overlapped with the pink and then the lavender will also overlap the yellow color so what happens when we slightly overlap the colors when you apply it onto your nails the colors won't stand separate you know it will give you a blended look so that's what we wanted that's how we get that perfectly looking ombre nails so now all you have to do is just dab 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 and you can gently you know roll your nails so that you get full coverage or you can just move your sponge also to the corner so that your nails are uh, completely covered with the colors and repeat this when i do ombre i go up to three or four times to get that perfectly looking opaque uh, nails you know once this is done all you have to do is to apply a top coat and remove that uh, liquid latex and just clean up the edges and you are done now uh, let's go to the second technique that i use this is the most common technique i use but this one why uh, rarely use but this is again a good technique to try so now technique number two is to use a fan brush to create the ombre so these kind of brushes you can find it in aliexpress or amazon or any website that sells uh, you know nail art surprise so before i start i dip my brush into water and then i drained all the water so that the bristles are a little separate and then i poured the nail polish onto my silicon mat and then i dipped the brush into the polish and then i am transferring the polish onto my nails so this is this looks uh, slightly different than the sponge ombre but this again gives you a really nice cool look uh, when you apply the top coat now if you see it's all like you know bulky and not very smooth but trust me when you apply the top coat this is gonna look amazing so now i'm done i'm just applying a top coat as i said uh, you can see how gorgeous that looks so now let me know which technique you like the most the sponge one or the fan brush one uh, just comment down your favorite one so that's it for today's video guys i hope you guys enjoy this video if you like it don't forget to like share subscribe all those good things and i'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy and don't forget to subscribe thank you